channel. A new discovery in deep space has scientists questioning how planets are made and how they work. Princeton University astronomers say they have found a planet with an atmosphere with equal parts carbon and oxygen. That's double the ratio of carbon to oxygen seen in our in planets in our solar system. It also means the planet's interior could be solid diamond. Well, with a look at this discovery, I'm joined by Andrew Pazakis. He's the National Astronomy Correspondent for the Weather Network and is known as the Night Sky Guy. Well, this sounds really interesting. What does the carbon to oxygen ratio mean? Well, this is a very unusual find, uh, exciting scientists, because all the planets within our solar system that we've sampled, we've looked at closely, our neighboring planets, even including the Earth, oxygen dominates over carbon. Uh, so there's like a double, a, a double amount of oxygen compared to carbon. And so this is a very unusual planet. I mean, we're talking something that's very far away, about 1,200 light years away from, from Earth. But yet we've been able to find a planet that's very different in its composition, twice as much carbon as, as, as oxygen. And, uh, and this is exciting because it's showing us, us a different chemistry to make up, make up planets. The planet itself is, uh, is, a, is a little bit bigger than Jupiter. Uh, it's very hot. Surf uh, we're talking temperatures in the atmosphere about 2300 degrees Celsius. That would melt uh, steel. Uh, so it's very hot, probably no life. But it's very interesting because it means that the birth of this planet was in a was was in a, a a disk of material that was rich in carbon, and carbon is one of the key ingredients for life as we know it. Has this kind of measurement been? Uh, have you been able to do this before? No, this is a very very unique measure, and it was thanks to uh, the uh, the work of uh, the Spitzer Space Telescope, which is one of the co cousin space telescopes of the Hubble. Uh, and it looks in the infrared uh, region of the spectrum, which means that it can actually detect heat. So unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, which looks in the, uh, the visible wavelength, the, 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 the wavelength of light that you and I can see with our eyes, the Spitzer Space Telescope looks at the heat signature of, of uh, stars and planets. And this planet is very close to its parent star. In fact, it, only, it takes one day to make uh, an, one orbit around the star. So a, a year on this planet is only a day long, and it's so close to the star that it, it's very hot. And this telescope can heat, pick up that heat signature. And that's how we've been able to, to look at the radiation from this planet, and we look at the fingerprints of, of the chemistry on this planet, and that's how we found the carbon. Andrew, how exciting is this for scientists, and how will this affect future findings? Well, it's exciting because carbon is one of the the key building blocks for life as we, we know it. And it, I think it, this finding fits in, very inter in a very interesting way to what NASA announced the other week, I think it was just last week, about having uh, these microbes uh, living off of arsenic and being able to incorporate arsenic instead of phosphorus, which is also a building block. So uh, here we are, we're looking at another building block of life that's rich on a planet far away from our solar system, and it opens up the possibility of finding life, and it sure shows us that we still don't understand a lot about the universe of what makes up a planet, so it's, it's, it's quite exciting. Andrew Pazakis, thanks so much for sharing this with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure.